Hey everybody, and welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We are due for a random run this time. Oh good, out of the, you know, T-Fal hotspot frying pan and into the hopefully reasonably temperate fire. We shall see at the very least. Last run, let's be honest, we had probably a little bit of a golden gift. We, well, maybe a few golden gifts. We got Brimstone. That was the only, oh, we got Brimstone in the pact. Those were the only deals with the devil we took. But somehow, we also found ourselves in uh, possession of Spirit of the Night. Not to mention, uh, in possession of Rage, Mr. Mega, the map, uh, staggering amount of bombs. Of course, we had the D6 because we were playing Isaac and uh, we won. Largely due to a full health pill, which I'm a little bit embarrassed that it came down to, um, came down to that. But you know, you gotta use all the advantages at your disposal. No special prizes for making life harder on yourself. Um, Hopefully, we have a little bit more of a tricky run and I play a little bit better. That would be the balance. Make things harder, I'll play better. That would be the way that I would like to see this go. But I wouldn't really complain about getting another run with the caliber of the last one either. So far, so good, I would say, considering we are Judas. Picking up HP on the first floor is extremely valuable. Probably more valuable than any other individual, you know, attribute-based item that we could otherwise get. But hopefully, uh, we end up finding maybe, well, you know, in the last uh, run, our very first item room is SMB Superfan. That would be nothing to sneeze at on this run either. That would make us into kind of like Isaac, basically, um, in terms of HP, but also some offensive bonuses. Instead, we get Magneto. Another run, or another item that we had last run that, um, you know, slightly, probably less worthwhile than uh, SMB Superfan. But it's okay, it may uh, actually earn us some consumables. Probably not anytime soon, but uh, over the course of this run, if we don't have the ability to fly, having Magneto might actually be worthwhile. Now, we are also going to maybe find second secret room? No. We did get a... well, we got two bombs back from our treasure chest. Don't like looking for the secret room on the very first floor. So instead, we'll just move along here, and um, I would say that is pretty much, you know, a very slightly... I didn't mean to come into this room. I immediately regret this. Uh, we're gonna be low on HP, and also lower our deal with the Devil Chance. I just, I didn't see on the bottom part there that that was actually a, a room that maybe I didn't want to go to because it had spikes on the walls. That's my bad, I'll admit, but still. All right, let's try to recover from that. That's a surprisingly minor thing that might end up having major repercussions, but actually picking up that uh, Red Heart makes me feel a whole lot better about that situation. Oh, and then we'll lose it immediately, okay. Let's be honest, my odds of getting a deal with the devil on this, or actually being able to take a deal with the devil on this floor, probably pretty low to begin with. Uh, we are talking about a situation where I only have 2 HP at the best of times, so getting rid of literally all of it is a little bit of a risky proposition for me. We do get the PhD. That's also a nice way to uh, give me some HP back, as well as uh, giving me exclusively good pills for the remainder of the run. Hopefully more of them as well. Now, uh, we will go to our secret room to, hopefully it is something like the Ankh, or, well, hopefully it's an item, and hopefully that item is like raw liver, or the Ankh, or the 1-Up. Uh, it is a slot machine instead. Book of uh, Belial, I shouldn't even have to explain this, I'm sure most people probably agree with me, but uh, it's no contest whether you roll with Book of Belial or the Bible, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what we should have done, and this was stupid of me, and I'm just realizing it now, but it's a relatively minor mistake, is we should have used the Bible to have the ability to fly, and then we could have flown either into the secret room or um, at least out of the cursed room without taking damage. That would have been a slightly smarter decision, but in the end, uh, you know, basically no major impact on the run. And I'm very happy to not be fighting famine, you know? It's, it's always nice to get that first cube of meat up, give you a little bit of extra defense, of course, but... Uh, I also love that we actually have a chance to snag maybe some HP here. I would not turn on my nose at some other items, but you know, this floor made it abundantly clear that HP is pretty important to us. If we're gonna make things work, and one more hit should kill. We get, well, we did get HP, and we got uh, the cardboard box. We got the devil card. Our pill was bombs or key, which I'm actually glad I took, and... I guess we want push pin for now, and we get HP, so truth be told, that's actually a pretty good haul. Alright, so we are in Curse of Darkness again, unfortunately, which is just getting kind of a goddamn ridiculous at this point. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what uh, push pin does, and that may well describe uh, many people out there considering that I very, very rarely take this trinket. Pay very close attention to my tears. Occasionally, uh, one of them will be, there's one right there, and there's another one just after it, uh, one of them will be spectral. That is the value of having pushpin, which is to say, 
you know, it's probably one of the worst trinkets in the game. That being said, uh, it is better than nothing, I guess. And if we find ourselves in a very, very terrible situation, um, we can maybe use Pushpin to help ourselves get out of it. Maybe. So, I'm going to go fight the boss right away because I think we have a legitimate deal with the Devil Chance here. That is presumably our shop. One of the reasons I hate getting so many curse of, Curses of Darkness is that, um, you know, you never know whether they're shops or libraries. And we really have no interest in a library. Book of Revelations, maybe. But um, I like Book of Belial more for the most part. Now, I will use this Strength card. Come on. Come on. I will use the Strength card on the boss fight. That'll make us much stronger. Uh, and you know what? It's one of the more difficult bosses you could be fighting at this point, so uh, being stronger is not a bad thing at all. Our shot should do a uh, very good amount of damage, and you can see uh, now with the benefit of uh, not even a little bit of hindsight, but a little bit of observation that indeed they are uh, extremely powerful. And we should be able to get out of this without taking damage. There's our deal with the Devil. Unfortunately, also uh, paired with a range upgrade, I'm going to take the Pact. It might seem like a no-brainer. I was just running through it in my head like, well, you know, we also have the opportunity if we take nine lives, we were going to go down to that amount of health anyway, but I don't, you know, I don't think it's worth it. I think this is a much better decision. So now we have the Pact, and we're back to, uh, you know, Judas starting health, but with some, uh, with some Spirit Arts to back me up. Our damage is a little bit stronger, our tiers are better, uh, our speed's a little bit better, but um, this is, uh, this is trademark Judas right here. So we wanted to keep the Devil card for later. For a dire situation. We still have uh, a shop, hopefully, to go to on this floor, and an item room, definitely, to go to on this floor. And I would love to pick up some more HP. That is all I'm gonna say about that. I would very much love if we could pick up even lard or something like that, um, but we'll see what we've got in here. We don't have too much control over it. Oh, Skeleton Key is lovely. Skeleton Key is a great item. Now, if I have the HP, Guppy's Tail is uh, a non-issue. And we'd never have to worry about keys ever again, so I'll definitely go to the shop on this floor, and every floor. Because, you know, as much as I mentioned that greed is a negative, it's not if you have... Well, I guess we wasted a key there, but um, it's not if you have uh, no keys being wasted on your way to fight greed. Because it's basically like a room that's guaranteed to pay out with some money. Money can be important. It's nice to have it. Alright, well... This is uh, not what I was hoping to get out of that red chest, as you might expect. I'm, I'm really hoping to maybe get some bombs at the end of this room or we could cut out the middleman because I want the bombs to get to the secret room which is going to be difficult to find given the fact that we're on a curse of darkness here um, if it would just give me like a nickel that would make things a lot easier on me as well this is the last floor that's guaranteed to not have a greed on it so I would very much like I mean we could still buy an item it's it's possible can't afford to be losing these spirit hearts um, but uh, it, it is a little bit unlikely could work out Thank God we have the speed necessary to take this out. Um, we will open up that Tinted Rock, even though I mentioned the importance of looking for secret rooms. Could give us a bomb, for one. That's important. Uh, no need for Book of Belial here. Could also uh, give us an item, like the small rock, for example. Should have maybe put it in a location where we could look for the secret room. It didn't give us either, but truth be told, I'm still happy with it because um, we, we need to survive, basically. So... There is a chance that it could be on either the left or the right here. I'm going to try to search for it right here. Come on, don't fail me now. Oh, it kind of failed me. Well, we'll go into our shop anyway. There's a chance we could buy a bomb, find the secret room as a result, and then get enough money to buy something else. Maybe. Fuck. That hurts. Um... I think we're just going to save our money and leave, to be honest with you. Give up on our dreams of having the compass, but still, I would consider that to have been a pretty good floor. Are you really going to give me three Curses of Darkness in a row? And of course the game's like, yeah, of course, what do you think? Well, you know, of all the curses, if, if we have to get it now, I'm, or if we have to get it, I'm glad we're getting it now as opposed to later when maybe we'll have the map or the compass, uh, you know, God willing. Uh, so, unfortunately, our pill ended up just being bad gas. That's not really, you know, the pill that you want when you've taken the PhD earlier on a run, but at least we know that we're protected from bad pills, which is extremely important. Uh, you know what? Yeah, sure, I'll use Book of Belial in this room. I could quite conceivably see myself taking damage here, so um, to be able to make things move a little bit faster might end up being, uh, you know, making all the difference if you consider it. So, 
Let's just, um, you know, take out the little ones as quickly as possible. I'm still in the habit of killing the blue ones last, which many people have told me is just psychological, but that's okay. Um, you know, it's it's a habit now, and that can't be broken. Well, we did get attack fly, so that reinforces that bullshit. Um, and now I will never be able to stop killing the blue one last. But getting the attack fly for free is quite nice. We're still safe. Um, you know, it might seem like things are getting a little touch and go here. You're not totally wrong. That was a little scary. But we've got good tiers, we've got good damage, we've got a great spacebar item supplementing uh, both of those. And uh, we, we're not... Oh, that was so lucky. We're not in a good place to win the run. You know, there's, there's runs where you're in a good place to win, and there's runs where you're just in a good place. We're in a good place for the Catacombs Part 2. We're in a, a survivable place. But we're not in a good place to, to beat Blue Baby. But that can change. It can change. Seriously, you need to die. Thank you, thank you. More keys, all right. Very useful right now. Most important item and consumable 2014. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Don't really want to fuck with the neutral fly if I can avoid it. They are extremely annoying. I guess the spectral tiers, um, the ones that work from pushpin, are not only spectral. Oh, wow, that's super lucky. Um, they're not only spectral, they're also, um, like, piercing, which is actually, it makes them a lot better, honestly. Certainly, you know, still not the best trinket in the game, but a lot better than just occasionally giving you a Ouija board effect. Even if it's impossible to plan for the actual use of them. Okay, scapular. We take it, because people will yell at me if I don't, and probably deservedly so. It's a really, really beloved item that I just don't use too effectively. Oh, great, yeah, and now... Now we get Notched Axe in our shop. Why couldn't we have reversed this and had Notched Axe in the last shop and the, the compass in this one? Very lucky. Now we can easily stay away from this guy. And truth be told, as, as much as I'm pseudo-complaining or, you know, like priming the situation for complaints. Oh, that was really, really dumb of me. That was my own fault, trying to be cutesy with the attack fly. But um, this actually is the kind of run that I like a lot, you know. Having low HP forces you to stay very vigilant. Which forces your your senses to sharpen, and you know, you end up playing better as a result sometimes, or sometimes you just end up dying early. But we're gonna try to make the uh, the latter or the former happen as opposed to the latter. This is a super easy boss fight. Another deal with the devil, a speed upgrade we can't possibly use, but we go to the deal with the devil because we want to um, fight Krampus if it is Krampus, which it's not. Taking either of these items would likely kill us. So, or it'd take us down to zero health, where we would die the next time we. Uh, we got hit, so instead, well, that room's empty. Well, instead, we're heading down to Necropolis in all likelihood, which scares the shit out of me. I really like our oh, so just the depths, and not even a curse of darkness. Somebody up there must like me. Um, I am, you know, feeling like it's getting a little increasingly unlikely that we end up winning on this run if I don't pick up more HP in the very near future. HP is just such a good stat. I mean, obviously, first off, it's the lifeblood of any run, right? If you run out of HP, you lose. That makes it an extremely important attribute just by virtue of its, uh, you know, defined kind of rule set. Beyond that, it's also uh, versatile because you can trade HP for other attributes that you might need in the forms of Deal with the Devil, if they show up. Uh, yeah, I mean, you had to have smart money on this happening here, right? So, getting things like speed, not only does it hurt because it's not flexible and we don't need it, or I should phrase that differently. Not only does it hurt because we don't need it, but it hurts because it's not flexible. We can't really trade speed for anything. There are situations where items will be speed down, you know, damage up, but that's not really, like, we, we would take all of those items regardless, you know? We're gonna take lard regardless, we're gonna take small rock regardless, so we don't actually really gain that much as a result. And ship to whoop is not what we want here, so this floor is shaping up to be a little bit scary with its lack of value so far, but things could still go well. Maybe we've earned ourselves deals with the angel as a result of uh, not taking a deal with the devil recently. Well, the most recent deal with the devil, anyway. I think that's how that works. Anyway. We're actually playing fine, apart from that awful, uh, you know, spirit heart loss a couple floors ago. Well, not even a couple floors ago, last floor just before the boss room. I'm pretty pl uh, proud of my play so far. Could be better, but uh, certainly it's not quite as bad as it was on the last run. But I got carried on the last run, and um, I was gonna say that all history, all history is gonna remember is like whether I won or lost. But let's be honest, history is not gonna remember this run, fucking regardless. 
It's not going to remember any of my Isaac runs regardless. Um, but all that matters in the end, I guess, is uh, is whether you win or lose and how you play. There's just a minor footnote in that. So I'm going to try to sneak in another attack fly shot here. And again, the attack fly has uh, gotten me into trouble a little bit here. Should stop being so cutesy with it. Just starts, uh... I mean, my damage is good, good enough that I don't need to rely on the attack fly, so... Let's not use the attack fly as, uh... Let's not overvalue it. Let me put it that way. So, Depths Part 1 has been fine so far from a play perspective. Pretty terrible from an item perspective. Shit happens, though. Mom's Pearl is fantastic. We'll replace the push pin with that. Might only get to keep it for one floor. That's okay. Got a little bit of money. I don't, why would I come back in this direction? We might as well explore the entire way down here. Yeah, okay. So Mom's Pearl, if you're not familiar, gives you an increased chance of Spirit Heart Drops, which uh, sounds very tempting to me right now. Who do we have in the Depths Part 1? We have a single Loki, which, truth be told, should be pretty easy. Our damage is good. Loki's been surprising me lately. He's got higher HP than you might expect, but as long as we can just keep ourselves kind of away from this, uh, from this asshole turret, we should have a pretty good chance to, to earn some kind of special room. Ah, oh, that's the other trick that Loki has. We still got the special room, which does have Krampus, which is actually, again, kind of what I want. Krampus, you're all that I want. Get your lump of coal in my arms. I don't remember the rest of the singing. Okay, I'm gonna stay way, way back. Not take any more damage. Taking damage against Krampus is very much a normal thing. For me, at least. I've seen people echoing that sentiment as well. It's the fact that, you know, he has a tell for that beam shot. But it still does come out pretty quickly. Alright. So there's Lump of Coal. That's a bonus. Do we really want the shot speed upgrade when I already have a great tarot card? What, what tarot card would be the best for me? I don't know. The Lovers does nothing. Hero Font would be great. Uh, I'm not going to take, considering I have 96 keys, I'm not going to take a Stars card with me. I'm not going to take a Hermit card with me. Uh, I'm not going to take a Tele... Well, not Tele Pills, but what's the the one? Uh, the, the Fool. I'm not going to take the Fool card with me because I, I want to stick with the Devil card instead. Um, so I don't really know what it could give me. It would have to give me a playing card and then like a Two of Clubs or a, um, a Joker. So, I don't know. Now, there's an interesting question here. Is the curse room worth it? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it the old college try. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So, that was really worth it. Um, and we got a spirit heart back from Scapular. There was no way in which that was uh, not worth it. I just forgot that Scapular actually would give us a spirit heart back. So... Getting Guppy's tail is huge. If we have a chance to become Guppy, we'll take it, of course. That, that could be a lifesaver. Solve our ability to fly problem and give us more damage. Um, but mostly, bring on the golden chest, man. Because we have... Fuck it, I'm going to take it. Uh, well, you know, that's actually probably the best that it could have gone there. I'm okay with that. A little bit of extra knockback and shot speed that makes Lump of Coal worse uh, for a key and a bomb. Well, actually, when you put it that way, it sounds terrible. But then we get Max's head. Great damage. I'm going to take a sip of this coffee. Hmm. All right. Acceptable. A little bit weak. That's my own fault, though. Um, sure, this is worth a bomb. Guppy's tail. I'm relying on you to give me some HP upgrades. That's Tammy's head. Um, it's not an HP upgrade, but... Truth be told, we basically traded one bomb and uh, a bunch of keys that we have, like, hundreds of, seemingly, for uh, taking an item out of the pool, which is fine. Not the ideal way to handle it, but at least we know we won't be seeing Tammy's head again. Max's head is amazing. Of all the head items in the game that I could get right now, you know, um, Max's head is, is one of them. And it's the best one, I think. Uh, might be able to argue. Um... Does this not give me a spirit heart? Why do I not have an extra spirit heart as a result of this? Because I need to lose that other spirit heart first. Um, okay, we will take the coat hanger. Will I get killed here? I need, I need some assurance that I'm not going to get killed. Here's what I'm thinking. I want the coat hanger. I really do. I want the coat hanger. How about you? Give me some HP. Okay, there we go. What I'm thinking is I play you. Ah, and that actually did generate some extra health for me. 
can we just do this forever then? Oh my god, that money. Like, can I walk out, walk back in, lose that spirit heart, and basically play this blood bank ad infinitum? It certainly seems like that's the case right now. Don't lose this HP, though. Um, so let's get back to a full spirit heart and then tackle the, uh... The scapular, I'm starting to understand. We'll tackle the, um... The boss trap room with a full spirit heart. And a book of allow. Please don't spawn both waves of enemies at once. Uh, you know, that's my bad, but also fuck Flash, man. <laughs> maybe it's not Flash, you know, by itself. Thank you, Scapula, for helping me out there, by the way. Uh, maybe it's not Flash entirely by itself. Maybe it's something to do with the game's engine. But seriously, goddamn. One more hit will kill us, but we made it. We did it, Reddit. Okie dokie, so what do we do? Well, we come back in here and we, we don't really want that HP yet. We want to play that, and then we'll do this again, and... So money is just unlimited, as is this one spirit heart, right? It's very weird to play the blood bank and be like, we actually gain health by playing the blood bank, but that's scapular, so... Hopefully we get the uh, blood bag as a result of this. Come on. Don't accidentally pick up the red health, for God's sakes. We might not, we might be able to play it twice per room, but it doesn't really matter in the whole scheme. Like, sorry, three times per room in order to be fine here, but it doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. I'm just gonna keep this up. We're gonna get to 99 cents and hopefully the, <gasps> I got my HP back. Uh, that's not so bad though, it's not so bad. Cause we got another one here. We can just kind of draw it away and then, oh, well now we're about to find out if I have made a terrible decision and I have, okay. Yep, that was dumb. That was stupid of me. Ah, oh, nope, because we have the extra HP, we can get it back. Where's my spirit heart? You're supposed to give me a spirit heart. Maybe I already lost it here? I don't know, what, what have I done? I got too big for my britches. Balls of steel, oh, thank God, okay. Well, do we really wanna continue down this track? I think I do, I, I do think I do, I think. Tears up, that's great, yeah, okay. There's Fly Love. Uh, we want to take it. We don't have the D6. So if I'm correct, this is a way, a good way to lose Spirit Arts and get yourself killed. But if I'm correct, we should be able to get Scapular working for us again. Yes. Okay, we did it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even picking up the money. It works. I've, I've remembered the solution to this problem now. Okay, well we gotta play it until it pays out. We have to. I can't not, like... And it might seem stupid that I lost my spirit arts to make this happen, but, or yeah, I did lose the two spirit arts, but I had to at least get it to pay out. And the fact that it paid out with uh, IV bag, you know, obviously doesn't make me feel amazing about myself, but I had to try. So I still feel pretty good about this whole arrangement here. Um, could have been better, of course. We could have gotten the blood bag instead. But what's done is done. Certainly our money situation is uh, adequate that I would consider playing Judgment is not really that much of a hassle. Maybe he'll even give me money equals power. Hanged man. Eh, it's all right. Could end up coming in handy. It's tempting to just use it here so I don't have to deal with all the bullshit that he's got on the ground, but whatever. Just don't pay out with the tick and we're good, buddy. I could sit here for 45 seconds playing you if you want me to, but do you really want to go down that road? And I swear to God, if you're gonna get up in the comments and be like, Oop, get out of it. Oh, I tried, I tried to push that away. I swear, Judgment. If you're gonna get up in the comments and be like, Well, now you can use the IV bag to just get back to 99 cents. It's an 8 cent difference between 99 and 91. It's, it's so unlikely to matter. And even if it does, you know, you're right. But it doesn't matter. Um, so, I got all the pills because I have PhD. Seems smart to me. Um, sure, yeah, it was worth it if for nothing else than Balls of Steel, and, you know, it's good that I said that, because we did get nothing else except Balls of Steel, really. And, uh, we have the, we have the Devil card still. I spent way too much money in there, but again, but now you might have a real case. We can get from 61 cents to 99, and then if money equals power shows up, that might actually be, like, a meaningful difference, but, uh, I, that knockback actually got me hurt there. Um, I can't really will myself to care about getting to 99 cents when the odds of money equals power showing up are actually so low, you know? That's my thinking on it. That's my two cents. We don't have, uh, you know, pennies in Canada anymore, so we can't say that. We have to say, that's my nickel. Which really opens you up to some, you know, terrible 
um, you know, mishearing. It causes all sorts of problems here. Um, we just gonna kind of keep walking around here because the attack fly should help us do kind of some ambient damage if we need it. But apart from that, our tears and damage are great. It's really just our HP, which is sorely lacking right now. And it is it's quite sore. It's gonna make me pretty sore in moments here. Please, please, more spirit hearts. With 10 bombs, I really don't want to look for the secret room. I know that sounds silly, but I, I really, really do not want to do that because I, um... Oh, we don't want to pick that up yet. Let me, let, bear with me for a second. I gotta, gotta give my brain a second to actually work with this. Fuck it, I'm gonna try it. We're gonna go to the curse room first. Full spirit art down. Sure, that's fine. We can win, we can guaranteed win an HP here. So that's what we're gonna do. But we have to keep this other spirit heart away to give ourselves the best possible chance of success. You should know the drill by now. We know that this will pay out with an IV bag eventually. Why do I not, why did I not gain my spirit heart back? Eventually I will learn how scabular works. I promise you that. I promise you that. Like, do I walk out, walk back in, and then it'll work? Yeah, okay. I don't totally understand it, but I can do it now. So we're just gonna keep doing this. As we've already had the IV bag, the, this is guaranteed to pay out with the blood bag. It might take a while, I expect that it will. But uh, it's well worth it to at least double our HP, right? Put us in a situation where we have double HP. We already have too much speed, but the HP compensates for it so greatly that it's, it's well worth it. Um, please work out quickly, because it's gonna happen. You meant, you're just giving me more money, basically. But the other thing that makes me nervous is that it's giving me a greater chance to fuck up as well. So that, their scapular has given us a great uh, golden gift right there. I'm not gonna look for the secret room. I, I need to save these bombs for the chance of, uh, you know, using them on the bosses, unfortunately, in my opinion, at least. So, uh, I actually, for all of my complaints, this should be a very easy boss fight. And really, like, I'm not worried about any boss in particular. What I'm worried about right now is just getting whittled down because we have so little HP. And Cat of Nine Tails does not help with that. So it's down to the next floor. Hmm. So at any given time right now, we're about three hits away from death. Not about, we're literally three hits away from death right now. Um, and that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad for our long-term chances of success. But if we can just have, you know, if we can be three hits away from death, when we go into a boss room, then we're probably able to beat almost any boss in the game. So there's my metric. Don't get hit. Save all your getting hitness for the boss boss room, and um, maybe, just maybe, we can see ourselves out of this one alive just through sheer brute force. Thanks, thanks for the dimes there, much appreciated. Uh, there goes our spirit heart. That was an important, ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, this is bad now. Okay, you stay down. I'll take care of the, Diglett monsters back here. You're really not gonna give me uh, a red heart, huh? Come on. Did we have a red heart in an earlier room? Oh, uh, don't let it end like this. We haven't been to this room? I thought we had been to this room. That was a scary moment uh, because my attack fly actually ended up hurting one of these guys. Red hearts, full health, bad gas, really? Oh no, this is not good. Uh, this is This is very not good. Could be the end of this run. And that's how quickly you can swing, just from not having very much HP. Why do the pills not come over here, you know? I am doing this. It's risky. I had to knock that pill out of the... out of harm's way, you know? I can't remember if it's Balls of Steel that could save our run. Eh, amazing. Uh, I don't think Bombs or Key is gonna win this for us. We'll reevaluate that pill at a later date. Oh, I knocked him into me. Oh, I'm not pleased with that run, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. As always, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to experience more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.